Hello there, my name is Bonnie and I'm going to guide you through a long look at a wonderful piece of art today. I'd like you to take a moment to absorb what you see. Really take time to look, challenge yourself. Think about all of the aspects of the painting that stand out to you. The title of this 1930 oil painting is Lake George by Early Moonrise. Do you notice the moon centered on the top of the canvas? Where do we think the artist was when she painted the piece? You'd be correct if you thought somewhere rural. This painting is of Lake George, New York, as the title tells us. But what you may not know is that the artist, Georgia O'Keeffe, spent lots of time at her husband's family home there. O'Keeffe painted this landscape from her second story bedroom window in this home. A landscape painting is one where the subject is the environment. It could be a seascape, an urban or cityscape, or it could be a mountainous lake region like O'Keeffe has captured here. Most often, landscape paintings like this one take a wide view and weather is often an important part of the composition. So let's now talk about the weather. We notice that the lake seems calm there are no waves apparent on the water. O'Keefe has created this image with a larger brush with paint pushed across the canvas. It suggests, but does not show detail. This is known as a broad brush stroke. She used this technique to create the leaves on the trees, the grass and the mountainside. These large smooth brush strokes, for me, create a sense of slow, peaceful movement. The way that O'Keefe used broad brush strokes is a type of abstraction. Abstraction is when an artist chooses not to create an image exactly how it appears in nature. Abstraction is a concept or a technique that occurs on a continuum, meaning that something can be more or less abstract. It doesn't have to be either or. O'Keefe has painted the landscape with enough realism or reality that we know what we are looking at. And yet, we don't see the detail that we would observe if we saw the landscape in person or in a photograph. I would use the term semi-abstract to describe this artwork. It is both abstract and suggests something we recognize. Let's finish our long look by contemplating the colors that O'Keefe has chosen. The predominant color is green, suggesting that this painting was created during the late spring or summer. But is it enough to merely use the word green? I think not. A more in-depth observation would include terms such as Kelly green, olive, and lime green to name a few. O'Keefe has used many different shades and hues of greens in the landscape. She has also painted in strokes of varying whites, browns and blues. The result of using all of these shades and hues is that the landscape has a richness and depth. I hope you've enjoyed taking a long look with me today and that you will pause and do so when looking at art on your own.